Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. I hope everybody's having as good day as possible, just say. So today, um, I'm going to be doing a vlog on Travel News UK latest exciting five facts, part one, March 2021. So uh, just before I get into it, could you please subscribe to my channel? It's the red and white subscription button. Also click the notification bell. I upload five times a week. Um, so uh, let's jump right in to the five fantastic facts. Now, uh, number one, Wales Online uh, says Spain wants UK travel deal for the summer even if covid vaccine passport scheme fails so they are at uh, spain very desperate uh, for uk tourism and uh, moving on um Number two, Sky News, COVID-19 UK to discuss EU proposals for coronavirus vaccine passport. So I hope that goes as well as possible. Number three, the Telegraph uh, UK, European Commission rate raises hopes of coronavirus vaccine passports to ease travel restrictions so um if the passports are going to ease travel restrictions then um again it could be um a good thing because um customers will have less travel restrictions um within the European country. Um, number four, Euro at news. It says international travel delays could cost the UK economy 30 billion euros. So that again is not good. Um, obviously, but um, again, it is what it is. Um, but hopefully the UK economy will be able to at least um, get hopefully some of it back hopefully um, when um, everything in the UK opens up like pubs, nightclubs and uh, life gets back to normal at uh, this summer fingers crossed hopefully number number five independent.co.uk summer holidays the destinations most likely to let in british holiday makers this year are um, number one spain number two greece number three the seychelles number four georgia and number five, Portugal. Number six, the Maldives. Number seven, the Balearic Islands, still classed as Spain. And number eight, Dubai, um, which is uh, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. So uh, there are a list there. Um, so if you wanted to go out of the UK but still want to go to Europe then Spain, Greece and Portugal um, again are likely to let in holiday makers, UK holiday makers if you wanted to venture further afield um, then Dubai, uh, Maldives, Georgia, the Seychelles um, again are likely to be uh, 
letting in uh, British holiday makers obviously uh, these countries are not guaranteed and obviously in the UK at the moment it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to travel in the summer it de really depends whether the government roadmap and the R rate uh, with the government uh, keeps going down and obviously um, as many people as possible are vaccinated by the coronavirus and the, the government hitting their deadlines on the coronavirus vaccination uh, which they're hoping to get everybody vaccinated by 2021 which is uh, again this year but July um, the tw uh, 29th so at the end of July everybody all adults to receive the vaccination fingers crossed and hopefully the government want things to be back to normal by the 29th of June but obviously they can't promise so um, if I do book a holiday this year um, I will book at say May time um, at 4 September or October that's what I'll be looking to do um, because if I book now or any earlier then the government could easily just change its decisions like that and uh, we'll be could end up back in lockdown again and of course it's going with this reason in mind um, I wouldn't book um, really any holidays whether it's UK or abroad um, to to at least September October at time or better still next year um, because um, again you can still get well sometimes last minute deals like a week or two before you go away um, and at number two is um, <laughs> really again the government it can obviously put on hold travel restrictions and have us all back in lockdown again um, if things don't um, continue to improve um, so um, again for those reasons I would just book uh, either later on in the year or for next year um, or um, book last minute really um, and try and get say a cheap deal if I mean you could probably do it um, in the UK or um, abroad um, if you um, want to try and get a, la a last minute deal uh, for the summer um, but that's what uh, that's what I would advise so um, I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow at 6.30. Um, I hope everybody has the best day possible and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.